Coming up on Inside Look, fire season is here. What you need to know to stay safe this summer. Hi, I'm Sean Boyd with OESnews.com. You ever heard of defensible space? Well, this wildfire season, your home could depend on it. We'll also tell you about the steps the state is doing to keep you safe this fire season and how these little guys could save your life. I'm Brian May in the OES Newsroom. Thank you for joining us for Inside Look. Well, fire season is here, and by all accounts, it is going to be a very busy one. A very wet winter means a lot of ground fuel. So what's the most important thing you can do to keep you, your family, and your home safe? With more on that, let's go to Sean Boyd. Sean? Well, Brian, when you live on property like I do, power tools, yeah, they're your friends. Well, as you can see, I don't have a manicured lawn. I leave it au natural. But whacking down all these weeds and grass that have sprung up over a very wet winter and spring, it's a very important part of creating that defensible space, space that could one day save your home. It's a dirty, often back-breaking job, but you gotta do it. It's your responsibility as a homeowner. It's been the law since 2008, and it just makes sense. After drought-busting rains this past winter, there is a lot, let me repeat, there is a lot of fuel for fires this season. So clear that land around your home. According to the experts at CAL FIRE, two zones make up the required 100 feet of defensible space. Zone 1 is 30 feet of lean, clean, and green. This is where you remove dead vegetation from your yard, roof, and gutters. Zone 2 is the remaining 30 to 100 feet of reduced fuel. Cut that annual grass down to 4 inches max. Create horizontal spacing between shrubs and trees and vertical spacing too, at least six feet from your grass and shrubs to the lowest part of your trees. If you have any doubts about how well it works, take a look at these pictures. This rural home survived a wildfire, just as this suburban San Diego home did. Defensible space. Now, my neighbor is a firefighter here in Placer County, so he really understands the importance of defensible space. He gave us permission to shoot and share these aerials of his property. He's already cleared his 30 feet of lean, clean, and green space. So I need to be the responsible neighbor and clear my land. We'd also like to remove the closest trees, but folks require a permit to cut, so they'll live a little longer. But not these weeds, they're a goner. So at the bottom of this story on OESnews.com, we have three downloadable brochures for you that will help you ready your home for this upcoming wildfire season. In Placer County, I'm Sean Boyd, OESnews.com. Brian, back to you. Sean, thanks. Hey, before you go, we had the wettest winter on record. I'm wondering if that means you've noticed any difference in and around your house this year as opposed to, say, in years past. Oh my gosh, yes. No sooner would I get all this stuff cut that it would rain and then seemingly overnight it would pop back up again, drove me crazy. But I really wanted to make sure that I got this stuff cut down before it turned brown, creating more fuel for any potential wildfire. That would be a disaster. Thanks, Sean, that is great advice. You know, we are barely a month into fire season and already we have had over 500 fires statewide, over 8,000 acres affected. That means that state officials are already on very high alert. With more on that, here's Monica Vargas. Thanks, Brian. The engines behind me are part of the Cal OES engine fleet, an important piece of the California robust mutual aid system. You'll see these engines along with those from local and federal agencies fighting fires on the front lines. Mark Gillarducci is the man behind the scenes making it all happen during fire season. We're not sitting around waiting for the phone to ring. We are actually engaged. We are responding to fires and other kinds of emergencies throughout the state. We literally could have several thousand, and when I, I mean that, I'm talking about 12 to 15,000 uh, firefighters uh, in a jurisdiction, any place in the state of California within 12 hours. Thank you, Monica and Mark. Back to defensible space now, there is a group of about 600 or so working on defensible space in Yolo County. Another couple of hundred or so on the Sierra College campus up in Rockland, but you may take a double take when you see them. 
they're down there somewhere, hundreds of them working, which is to say eating. How many goats? Uh, we're at about 1,200 head of goats total. Tim Aerosmith owns Blue Tent Farms out of Red Bluff. His business is have goats, will travel. And don't let the cute faces fool you. This is strictly a business trip for these goats. They are all business, business is good, and business is crucial. Very important. Uh, one way, it's either gonna be the goats or another method to cut the weeds. The fact that we can use the goats uh, easier and there's less costs involved, it's, it's a win for us. These may look like weeds to you and I, but to the goats, this is an all-you-can-eat buffet. And if left unattended, this is the type of stuff that can go from this to this in seconds. Extremely dangerous. You know, light, flashy fuels, uh, they, because they're so dry, they'll ignite quickly and they'll move just as fast. The goats are mainly used in areas that are hard for us humans to get to. If you look at the terrain, you can see it's fairly steep and difficult to maneuver. Uh, you know, bringing in staff with uh, weed eaters uh, would take a lot more time. It'd be more costly. Tame as they may seem, Tim Aerosmith warns his goats can at times be bad. Somebody says, I think your goats are out. And we looked up and there was, I think, six or 700 goats plowing across an open field toward a subdivision. Before we could get down there, they went around the corner and into the subdivision and were eating people's shrubs. And the dogs got around them. We pushed them out of there and we apologized to the people. And they're going, oh, no, this was the greatest thing we've ever seen. Well, we wanted to have just a little bit of fun with that story. So we put together five basic goat facts for you. Last time I do that, I'll promise. First of all, you should know that no goats were harmed in the making of that video. They were inside a pen safely away from us the whole time. Did you know there are about 200 different breeds of goats? That's domestic and wild goats. They can be taught their name and taught to come, much like a pet dog would. As you saw in the story, goats can climb on trees. We didn't know that. And more people drink goat milk than milk from any other animal worldwide. To see more videos like the ones you've seen today or any of the stories covered by our team, go to OESnews.com. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And that will do it for this week's edition of Inside Look. I'm Brian May for all of us at OES. Thanks for joining us.